Thank you, Christian. Uh, and happy birthday, Gottfried. Uh, and a good day or good evening to everyone. I hope you all are healthy and COVID-19 free. And um, I'd like to uh, give you a little bit of a lot of memories. And uh, let me share my screen. Uh, as you know or will know today, uh, Gottfried's been very actively contributed to ISPRS growth and its influence over the past 60 years. Uh, and he continues to this day to share his knowledge and expertise as an active participant in our society. Unfortunately, these days, I rarely see Gottfried as my personal involvement with the society has diminished in my years of retirement. But I sincerely appreciate his devotion to continually promote the advancement of our profession. Uh, uh, my earliest recollection of my personal interaction with Gottfried was at the September 1978 Commission Two Symposium in Paris, where we were both participants in a panel discussion on the future of analytical instruments. And then just by chance, we met again in Rome in 19, 19, 1979, when our paths uh, crossed, and I was there meeting representatives of uh, OMI, uh, Attica, Mechanica Italiana, a major photogrammetric instrument maker, to oversee the design and development of the uh, National Ocean Survey analytical plotter for the Coast and Geodetic Survey. Uh, it was the first ever analytical stereo plotter to employ stereo superimposition to accurately verify digitally compiled data with its source imagery. And at that role meeting, our discussion quickly evolved into sharing our common research interests in advancing developments in the hardware and software for analytical stereo plotters. Uh, and it was a very timely and fruit fruitful meeting for me because at that time, I was the ASP uh, director responsible for conducting the analytical plotter symposium and workshop that was slated to convene in April 1980, uh, just nine months after we were meeting. And it was immediately clear to me that Gottfried's extensive knowledge and his experience with analytical plotters was unique and invaluable. So I suggested that it would be wonderful he would give me a, uh, he, if he would give a keynote tutorial on analytical plotters at the symposium workshop. And he promptly and willingly agreed to do so even though his enormous Congress director responsibilities would be at their utmost intensity as a Hamburg Congress would occur less than two months after the analytical plotter symposium and workshop. That unself unselfish act of his of sharing his knowledge with others exemplifies his career in contributing to the success of not only these society events, but to many other endeavors of the ISPRS. The 1960s and 1970s were transitional years for the photogrammetric community, led by the adoption of computers, birthing comp computational programs, and the beginning of replacement of traditional analog restitution devices with analytical and hybrid instruments. And it was during his tenure at the University of New Brunswick that Gottfried was officially enlisted into ISBRS activities with his appointment as a 1960 to 1964 Commission Six national member from Canada. That was 60 years ago. Canada reappointed him again for the same position for the 64-68 term. Um, and his first ISPRS Congress was at the 1964 uh, Lisbon-Portugal uh, Congress. At New Brunswick, uh, Godfrey had valuable interactions with Uki Halava, the inventor of the analytical stereo plotter who at that time was advancing development of the AP1 prototype at the National Research Council of Canada. In his sabbatical year at NASA in 1966, Gottfried had the opportunity to work on the Apollo program, mapping lunar sites and uh, gaining significant computer expertise. His interactions with Halava and NASA prompted him to bring his software and hardware knowledge to the University of Hanover for the development of blue software for aero triangulation and analytical plotter advancements. And it also led to his positive influence on the German Space Agency to develop metric cameras for the mapping of Earths from space. During the 1972 to 1976 period, he served as president of the German Society 
and also is chairman of the ISP Working Group on Geometry of Remote Sensing Systems. Uh, he followed on as uh, vice president of the German Society from 76 to 1980. His active promotion of the mapping and ma imaging sciences was rewarded with his selection by the German Society and they nominated him for the, to be an ISBRS council term for 1976 to 1980. And he uh, became, uh, let me see, at, at, at 1976 Helsinki Congress, he was elected by the General Assembly to serve as the Congress director in Hamburg for 1980. I, I highlighted the word rewarded because he subsequently shared with me that being Congress director is like leading a three ring circus. And I later learned this was very sage and valuable and a, really a true observation. Uh, during his service from 1976 to 1992, he served on ISBRS council as Congress director, as secretary general, president, first vice president, and ever since, Gottfried's been instrumental in fostering co cooperation between organizations in building bridges with developing countries and regions for tech transfer and education and theory applications and status of our profession. And after his 16 leadership years on the ISPRS Council, he served uh, the next eight years as chairman of the ISPRS Intercommission Working Group on Mapping from Space. And his leadership style set an example for others in ISPRS to emulate. Uh, in 1988, President, uh, in his presidential address, Kenneth Tolagard stated very aptly about his pre predecessor. He said, Gottfried, I have now had the privilege to work with you in council for four years. I have learned very much under your leadership. I have learned to work for the ultimate goal, to look for the essential, not to get lost in detail. I have learned to find the largest common dividend among everybody's interest on what they have in common. Uh, good uh, co uh, commendation from Kenner and uh, also from what Shunji just uh, told us here as well. Gottfried's been instrumental in promoting recognition of remote sensing presence in the society. He strongly influenced the name change from ISP to ISPRS in 1980. And then in 1986, he single-handedly brought together representatives of international societies, regional associations, national aerospace agencies, UN organizations, national academies of science, private corporations, and other related organizations into a common umbrella organization called Joe Bracer, the Joint Board of Remote Sensing Activities. Uh, during the same period, he was a unifying force in promoting the activities of EARCEL, the European Association of Remote Sensing Lab Laboratories. These early collaborative efforts were invaluable for ISPRS leadership for joining with our sister societies into forming the International Union of Surveys and Mapping, which has now evolved into one of the three networks formally recognized by the UN Committee of Experts for Global Geospatial Information Management. Through the years, his personal diplomacy has influenced many developing nations into joining ISPRS as ordinary or regional members. He's been the mentor of all subsequent council members. Shunji Murai, as you've just heard, often credits Gottfried as his father, whose leadership had a major influence on how to activate and organize the Asian uh, photogrammetric and remote sensing community and to become an effective and leading contributor to the ISBRS mission. I believe 2020 now marks the 30th year of success for the Asian Remote Sensing Conference and now Shunji is the Asian ambassador of our profession. In 1987, uh, a significant global newsbreaking event was the convening of the ISPRS Intercommission Working Group Seminar on Space Photography in Leipzig, East Germany. The event was conceived by Gottfried and hosted by Klaus, Professor Klaus Shangelis in the waning years of the Cold War. It was attended by Russian and Eastern Bloc country representatives and four ISPRS participants from the West, uh, President Koneshny, Treasurer Giovanna Toyati, past President Fred Doyle, and myself as Commission Two President. And it was at this ISPRS event that both sides openly shared for the first time to the world their high resolution images, 
from space and discuss technological capabilities for the benefit of peace for humankind. The conference was a scientific and diplomatic success due largely to Gottfried's bridge building efforts. As well as being an outstanding professor at the University of New Brunswick and the University of Hanover, uh, Gottfried served, has served as German delegate and an international consultant for GTZ, the German Ministry for Technical Cooperation, uh, DLR, the German Space Agency, and the German Federal Ministry of Research and Technology, as well as for other numerous agencies, companies, and projects in over 20 countries, as well as for the UN. And for many decades, uh, Gottfried has been a German and ISPRS representative to the UN Regional Cartographic Conferences, and he has and still gives lectures on ISPRS topics in innumerable countries. Uh, on a less professional note, I can attest to Gottfried's uh, social skills and antics, and I thought I'd share a few of them with you. Um, such as in Natal, Brazil, back in 1998, uh, we went, uh, council was off uh, by our host, took us to, uh, out to the sand dunes in Natal, and Gottfried gave the experience of zip lining down several hundreds of meters, but backwards, uh, from a very high sand dune into a Brazilian lake uh, to the amazement of everybody that was present. He fortunately survived. Uh, then at his uh, Hamburg Congress, uh, he demonstrated his generosity by handing out wads of event fund money for food and drinks to delegates from developing countries and eventually showered the atrium of this fabric uh, music hall. By the way, that's where the Beatles uh, started with uh, surplus fund money to the pleasure of everybody that attended. And you can just well, just picture uh, this fund money floating right through the air there. Then at, at, uh, at a March 1992 Glasgow Scotland Council meeting, uh, he uh, had a, 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 tendency, a tendency to have a lot of cigars during our meetings, but he finally uh, had overdone it, and we banished him off to a far corner of the meeting room uh, when the smoke from his Cuban cigars became overwhelming. Uh, after a uh, July 1989 Igars and Joe Bracer meeting in Vancouver, Canada, he convinced, convinced uh, several of us uh, to go to his favorite Chinese restaurant to eat king crab legs only to find out the supply was very limited and uh, not enough to serve us all. And Godfrey promptly exhibited his best diplomatic skills to have the proprietor convince his competitor restaurant to send over more crab legs for our eating pleasure. And he often uh, takes home a travel gift uh, for his lovely wife, Liesel, uh, such as a handmade quilt every time he goes to a UN meeting in New York City. And even once uh, when we were in Xi'an, uh, China, he bought a life-size, several hundred pound replica terracotta warrior. And um, although he had that one shipped back because he just couldn't carry that much weight. Um, at this time, in fact, uh, please let me uh, mention that Liesl has been the power behind the throne. And for all of us in ISPRS, we send our best gratitude for sharing to Liesl for sharing Gottfried with us and for sacrificing all the time we've taken from her through the years. Uh, and finally, it, it's noticeable to note how Gottfried has magically employed his ingenuity in managing travel passports to enter nations without visa, such as from Saudi Arabia to US or from Brazil to Argentina. Uh, or convincing border guards to allow he and I to cross without our passports from Nepal to Tibet, oh, and back. Uh, obviously, he traveled worldwide extensively as an educator, lecturer, representative, and delegate, as those who have served on ISPRS Council can attest. I recall how John Trinder and I would often compare notes of where we had traveled in our council days, and we would marvel and speculate as to which countries we might have been where Godfrey had not been. As I recall, we believe the only place he may not have traveled to is Easter Island. I'm sure he's traveled to more than 150 countries, 
In fact, just a few years ago, I just real found out now it was 2002, it's even few time flies. Um, we heard that Shunji and Armin had traveled to Bhutan and accompanied, of course, with, with uh, Gottfried. Uh, we could go on many hours into identifying his influential presence and serve in our global community. No matter the time or the place, Gottfried has always been willing to answer the call. When I was ISP president, I convened the ISPRS strategic planning meeting for charting the future of our society with our six council members representing the world's major continents. And it was Gottfried who answered my call for a meeting facilitator to keep us on track and to help consolidate our varied views on the future path of ISPRS. I sincerely thank him for serving so brilliantly as our independent and unbiased facilitator. These are just a few of Gottfried's many contributions to our society, which support my contention that demonstrate that he truly deserves to be honored as the ambassador of our profession. Thank you, Gottfried, and we're blessed to have you as your dear friend and colleague. Thank you. <laughs>